good evening everyone so today we are going to learn something new that i have promised you regarding the investigation of rock waves in plasma and those of you have derived already the kdb or the kdb burgess equation some of you requested me to extend the study further so first let me define what a rock wave is you see the most common rock wave are the tsunamis they are high in amp uh, large in amplitude rich in energy and are devastating same kind of modes often exist in fluid mechanics and of course in plasma physics so such a rock wave exist in space space plasma it exists in laser plasma interactions it also exists in you can see from the in the fiber optics so from this figure you can see that these are high intense pulse that will be propagating and creating uh, probably a devastating effect or uh, a some kind of instability so you can study about the raw waves in uh, fiber optics laser plasma interactions even fluid mechanics as well as in plasma physics so for that i have just uh, i will i will just send some of you some of the papers which are uh, related to uh, raw waves and uh, are freely available some of them are here and uh, let's come here to the you see in nature we have found one in nature journal they have reported one raw waves in 3d and is visible out here this paper is also available i'll also send you as so a three dimensional raw wave have been observed in a dusty plasma system dusty plasma as i have said those of you have already done some kdv or dispersion relation on dusty plasma systems as i said the dusty plasmas are available in astrophysical plasmas in laboratory produced plasmas the saturn's ring and the comet's tails and all these are dusty plasmas generally space plasma that incorporates the space debris are the dusty plasmas now there are some articles available on how to study the dusty plasma is a uh, raw waves is through the nonlinear schrodinger equation now regarding this nonlinear schrodinger equation uh, it is one of the interesting equations that we often uh, study in plasma physics generally obtaining the nonlinear schrodinger equation is a bit tricky and uh, as you can see in one of our articles we have studied the kdv and we have studied from this is the study of small amplitude ion acoustic solitary wave structures that is we have studied the kdv of ion acoustic waves and amplitude modulation that is the modulation instabilities in an electron positron ion plasma with streaming ions the ions were having a fluid motion now taking this into consideration we obtain the set of equations the normalized equations and with this relative perturbation technique we obtain the uh, linear dispersion relation and with the stretching and uh, that uh, previous perturbation expansion we obtain the kdv equation now this kdv equation can evolve into a raw wave the kdv solitary structure can evolve into a raw wave and that is when uh, we and that is uh, how we can study the raw waves by the application of the nonlinear schrodinger equation the general technique to obtain the nonlinear schrodinger equation by perturbation multiple scale perturbation technique and the fourier method is somehow different but here we have a limiting case for the perturbation uh, for the 
KDV equation to be evolved or converted into a uh, raw wave, raw wave, and the equation corresponding is the nonlinear Schrodinger's equation. Now you see, come here. Now we are showing you two things. We we'll see that any other field variable that is velocity, potential, density can be expanded in terms of Fourier series. This is a Fourier expansion term and is the complex quantity. This is a general term of writing. Suppose a field variable, suppose is the density, F is the density, small variations in density, that is small fluctuations is having that smallness parameter epsilon square and these are the different harmonic terms okay we consider that they interact in such a way that their harmonics will be incorporated in the analysis and with this we expand the phi or the because here in the kdv equation here in the kdv equation you have only one variable we have converted all our density velocity into the potential function. So the potential has been expanded like this epsilon phi 0 plus epsilon 1 phi 1. What are this phi 1 and psi? You see psi is the um, that psi is the quantity phase part. I will just repeat. Okay. Phase part. Yes, and uh, with reference to this article, you can see that here we have the Fourier expansion that is in the harmonics, and each term is expanded in a perturbation way. Phi one is expanded in phi one one, epsilon phi one two, phi one three. So phi two, this is the same thing, and we have given another transformation that was jai and tau. We gave a transformation in terms of rho and theta. Now with this a b constants of the KDV equations and uh, these are the a b terms we expand it in the Fourier series and you can see that uh, here you will get that del del tau in terms of rho and theta a variable tau in terms of the new variables this, that is the del del tau and del del psi. Now this two transformations regarding the differential operators when taken to the KDV equation you have got a 3 times derivative del, del del psi 3 and first derivative here is a modified KDV kind of equation okay and uh, here you get the these terms and just to bypass all those details let us come to this point and with those a and b constants out here the nonlinear Schrodinger equation this is the nonlinear Schrodinger's equation okay oh sorry oh it is a photograph that is why okay uh, in this nonlinear Schrodinger's equation here you see we have this i del psi del tau this is the uh, term corresponding to the Hamiltonian operator and this is the potential term here the potential is not linear with phi 1 that is phi 1 cube or phi 1 phi 1 star or phi 1 so it is a non-linear term so it is known as a non-linear Schrodinger's equation here the p and the q are converted into this is taken as p the dispersive term in a nonlinear Schrodinger's equation and this is the nonlinear term q so as we have done it out here and uh, with this you see these are the uh, stretch variables uh, del del tau and del del xi in terms of the new stretch variables so finally we get the nonlinear Schrodinger's equation like this okay so this expression when studied 
analytically will give you the solutions the solution now what are the solutions now as i have said this is the p and this is the q term now we will get a different thing out here how can we study the more here you see The solution of the nonlinear Schrodinger's equation is somehow like this. First order rational like, and you see that as I said that there is a peak of the uh, solitary profile, envelope soliton out here. So this is a raw wave profile. It is highly energetic, and uh, it's is a first order term. And they can also study for the higher order terms, and those will be very much. You see, this is a raw wave kind of. Proposition first order raw wave proposition and the intensity, and they have I think taken some gravity field. Okay, so once you get that uh, KDV uh, uh, KDV equation, you can convert to the nonlinear Schrodinger's equation and equate it to it and get the solution like this first order solution. You can also get for a higher order solution if you are interested. The higher order solution, second order solution. Okay. And uh, I will send this paper. Okay, so here you see that P and Q they have taken in terms of all these parameters. So you can also get provided your first KDV or KDV Burgess equation is obtained, and then you get the nonlinear Schrodinger term. So this will help you to study many factors in space. For instance, if I search. Rock waves in space. In space plasma. Space plasma. Okay. In a dusty plasma, as I've just said. So rock waves in space dusty plasma. I will also send this paper. So mm, Abdul had done it, Abdul Mannan, he is one of my close friends from Bangladesh. Okay, and this is a very good work, you can see. It was published in Physics of Plasmas. And uh, you can also check some other things. Rogers electromagnetic, the link between the family of KDV equations and Tantavi, okay, you have just checked it here. I think I have got Tantavi paper. No. Ah, Al Tantavi. This work is out here. And uh, you studied in astrophysics and space science, so you can just see that the importance of the work in astrophysical plasmas so you can just check out the also there and uh, non maxwellian as i have said those kappa and uh, non thermal distributions you can also take those things rogers in space dusty plasma generation rogers in space dusty plasma so you can always get this articles on rog waves so thank you